Hey, how's it going? Well, here we are. <laughs> Welcome back to another video in this remodel series of our uh, Class C motorhome. As you can tell, it's a bit cold and snowy outside. I took a few days off from the last uh, part of the project after uh, fixing that water damage in the floor. And, you know, it got really cold and windy and the, the temperature dropped, so I thought I'd just take a few days and uh, just do something else for a while. The weather isn't really getting any better. In fact, it's getting a little bit worse. We've gotten more snow and we're going to continue getting more in the next week or two. So I wasn't going to wait it out and uh, and just kind of let this project sit. I want to get this uh, new flooring installed, so that's what I'm going to take care of. I still need to prep the floor in the bathroom, get the linoleum pulled up, and uh, I also thought I'd do a little bit of painting on the wall before I get the new flooring in and uh, that just might simplify things instead of making any messes after the fact. So I'm going to change my boots and uh, get to work. You know, we really wanted to brighten it up a little bit in here and uh, choosing kind of a beigey color that's kind of in the same family as our, uh, as these uh, shades is uh, what we were after here. And, and I think it's going to work out really well now that I've got more of the walls painted. It looks really good. Um, we ended up going with uh, a more expensive can of paint. And I still got a lot left, by the way. Uh, we got it from Home Depot. It was the Bear uh, Marquee. Bear Marquee uh, grade of uh, paint. It's the more expensive one. It says it only takes one coat, you know, has the primer and the paint in it. And uh, yeah, I've only had to put one coat on it, so that's all it's needed. And I have a lot left. So I still have some more painting to do, but I got the majority of it already done. Now we're uh, hoping to uh, make the space look even bigger when we put in the new flooring. So that's what we're going to get to next. And uh, let me show you, uh, you know, what we picked out for that. So it starts snowing since I've been inside painting. <laughs> oh well, I closed the door. All right, these are, uh, well, these are Stainmaster vinyl plank and uh, they look really nice. They have kind of a natural wood texture. That's the one we, uh, we picked out, we got them from Lowe's. And I, I saw some other ones there at Home Depot that were a little bit thicker and I realized that uh, those are also gonna be a lot heavier when I started loading them up. So we went with a little bit a thinner grade one and I think it's gonna work out just fine. Now these are also uh, six inches wide by four feet long and the interior walls of the RV here are exactly eight feet. So I'm hoping that this works out to be exactly 16 of these uh, from left to right. Yeah, so I'm gonna start from the left here, move to the right and uh, just to keep me on track, I'm gonna snap a little chalk line right at four feet, right in the middle just to make sure that when I get to that point, I'm not going crooked or something like that. So I'm gonna give it one last sweep and uh, I'll get started.
I think I'm kind of figuring it out and getting a little groove, getting a system down. And uh, some of these parts though, to start off with, they were a little bit uh, more complicated and took a little bit of figuring, especially around the door here, figuring out where I wanted those particular planks to be and had to cut them and all that. But uh, overall, it's looking really good. I'm pretty happy about that. But definitely, uh, I've been using this uh, dry erase marker to uh, to mark these pieces and cut them because uh, you know sure you can write right on it but uh, you know you can just wipe it off with your thumb when you're done so it doesn't leave any marks on the uh, actual plank itself and uh, you know cutting them is really easy you just score it with a utility knife and then you can just snap it off I'm gonna keep going and uh, see how it goes uh, but that's looking really good. Okay, I have to show you this because this is uh, definitely going to be the hardest cut of this entire project. But uh, check this out. I have to cut this piece to fit inside the door frame, kind of wrap around uh, the inside of the frame here on both sides. So it's kind of this little notch. And uh, I haven't actually put it in there yet to check it out, but I'm going to try to insert it now and see if it'll actually fit. All right, let's, let's see if we can... Squeeze this in here. Close, but no cigar. All right, let's give this another try. <laughs> Second go around, see if we can do this. Check this thing out, it is pretty, pretty fancy piece of flooring here. All right. Really snug. Oh, sweet. That one's up there. really makes you feel good. <laughs> Pretty exciting.
Well, I'm at Home Depot now. I need to find some kind of a 90 degree transition to go from you know, the, uh, the laminate flooring to the carpet on those front facing spots like in the entry by the stairs and it uh, drops into the cab. So let's see if I can find something here. Well, this looks really good. <laughs> I can't believe that we even considered uh, keeping the old flooring, the carpet and the linoleum instead of replacing it. It was definitely the right decision to make to, uh, to replace everything throughout and it looks really, really good in here. You know, it definitely added a little bit more time and energy and <laughs> effort and expense to this project, but it was totally worth it. In fact, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have found that water damage under the fridge if we hadn't have torn out that flooring and replaced it. So uh, I'm really glad that we did it, and uh, it looks totally different in here. It's like a whole new space. Now I'm really uh, looking forward to uh, moving on with this project and uh, working on building some stuff over there for the TV and the table and all that. But uh, let me know what you think of the flooring for now in the comments and uh, we'll touch base on the next phase of the project and I will see you then. So take care.